arrival in Redcliffe was bittersweet. The ranking Grey Warden, Alistair, was still there. However, the town had been besieged by undead streaming from the castle at night. With little information to offer to explain these attacks, our heroes determined they had to help defend the town and liberate the castle from whatever dark forces had taken it over. After an extensive amount of planning and a little bickering, the group felt that they were ready to face what was to come. Hopefully, their bag of trips will be deep enough to survive the coming onslaught of undead. Well then, Nick, give us a quick rundown of what happened in the last session. So, <clears throat> the night before the storm, we left Lucius silent and now dead town, headed back, uh, headed on our way to Redcliffe. When we arrived at the place, the, the, when we arrived, the place was eerie and sparse. Normally, a bustling city of thousands, according to Lucius. However, when we went through the walls, the, the gates, we were nearly accosted by a small number of town guards, as as they anxiously awaited help. In steps Alistair, a really attractive man, more attractive than Theo, and he knows it. He isn't happy about it. With seniority within the wardens, so it turns out. Theo then <coughs> took lead and defused the situation with the guards and Alistair. We found out and confirmed our suspicions of undead attacks in the region, and we agreed to try and help out, help with the undead assault um, with the, the intentions to counterattack once we defeat them. The afternoon arrived and we started scouring the city for supplies <coughs> for the assault. I bumped into an arrogant rogue named Elia, um, which, by the way, Avalon seems ecstatic about seeing. <laughs> we're, just looking at some, uh, we're, we're just looking at some healing supplies. We brought her into the group and enlisted her for uh, her services for the long night ahead. As much as I really don't like her, she seems like she's, she's going to be really handy in battle. We came up with a rough battle plan to focus most of our forces near the easternmost gate and the city and the city square with traps set up around the eastern gate. Um, I, I have stayed particularly quiet around the group throughout, mainly as I'm still working out, stuff working the group out. I need to get back to the forest, but actually, I'm actually enjoying the, the adventure, the adventuring. I've been able to use my casting powers. I feel more, I feel I'm getting stronger, and being around the Circle Mage and whatever Morrigan is. I think it's only feeding what I, what I can sense the power within myself, eh, within the both of them. And I'm interested to say the least. As the night draws near, I get I get to praying, and after that we get to start deeper into the battle plan again. I mainly stayed quiet. There's a few overpowered personalities within the group, which is fine. I stay quiet and talk with my powers. As the plans continue, so does the bickering. About, thing, about what things are going where, but that's probably some nerves. The mood in the camp is we is a is that of a weird cam, but you can sense the tension and nerves within um two seconds, sorry. The tension and nerves with what's to come during the night. And I'm <clears throat> and I'm on that boat uh, too. I've never faced an army of undead and I'm scared. I'm confident, but I'm scared. Death is something that all oh, that fears me to no end. Not just my own death, but those close to me or because of me. That terrifies me. If I do die tonight, I know I'll go out in a storm, a storm of glory, and I guess that's uh, that I can only pray that I don't fall tonight. Get a quick shout out since Nick has never played D&D &D before, and this is what now your fourth set. Boo, that was rubbish. Boo, you should be ashamed of yourself, Nick. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you're enjoying the game and you're getting into it, Nick. Yeah. I hope you're liking it so far. I got, I I'm happy, Nick, you done a. I don't, think, I don't think anyone else picked up on it, but I picked up on it, mate. He says, before the storm, because you're a storm druid. I liked it, mate. I like that. He, he, nice he did the funny. He did the funny. All right, Nick, before we get going, you get to pick who's doing the write-up for this week. The only rule is you can't pick the guy who picked you. Which was Leon. Leon. Hey. So anyone else? Okay. Yeah, go for it. I mean, fuck yourself. <laughs> Since you're my best pal, you can have the... Good no, job, it's great. Before we start, Dempsey, no, it's not sharp. <laughs> no one's picking me. This is wonderful. I didn't know that was an option. Yeah, because you're born. Yes, I, I am an option. And if you pick me, it would be the voice of one of the NPCs around you. So most likely Morrigan. I'm sorry, I have It's probably better because Morrigan will just fucking complain. Oh my god, they asked my opinion. <laughs> How dare they? Oh my god. 
How could they not do exactly what I want them to do, these bastards? <laughs> you a lot of bitch. Fuck. Uh, yeah, and I'll be happy to point out that she can leave at any time. If this fight starts to go very badly, she may just walk away. Be like, yeah, whatever. Turn on another dragon. Like I'm mom. <laughs> Bye, guys. Strong. Anytime. All right, so we are we have readied our defenses. Everyone is where they need to be, and everyone is enjoying what little sleep that they can get. Um, the sun has long gone down, and it is probably about two, maybe two in the morning now. Are you guys getting up on your own? Or are you going to wait till the alarms go off? I got work I, to do. I'm getting I, up. I'm about to say, if I wake up... <laughs> I would ask Drastoff to get me up whenever he gets up if he's not going to wait for the alarms. I've got to keep up with oh. the youngins. Oh, fuck no. Everyone's getting woken the fuck up. I'm not letting any of you bitches sleep in. Fair Actually, enough. I've not had much sleep because... This is the first real battle I'm going to have been in ever properly. Of the oh, unless you want to intentionally hinder yourself, assume you got sleep. If you do not sleep, you're stuck with the fatigued condition, which really. Oh, I just meant I didn't get much sleep. Like I got sleep, but not like, not like your hair. It's like to it. imagine it, it's like you're you're nervous before like a job interview. That kind of Hi. sleep. I swear, I think yeah, that's what he means. Very yeah, kind of broken, but you still get a yeah. Uh, so I'm actually, like, up around when everyone else is getting up. Okay, everyone, assume positions. Megan is doing her little meditation thing. When I get up and, and roused, I want to go up here by where the water is and double-check that gate, make sure that we're still good there, because that's the one entrance we really didn't account for. Okay. Nicola, we were gonna have you on this building here. I was gonna say, are we, are we, am I going on the building? It gives you a better mm -hmm. line of fire over the soldiers and dressed off. It's still it, within it your range. Yeah, I mean, if you use reach spell, you can electric all everything say, that goes into the minefield. Yeah, I can Could do, I can do that. Yeah. Just while we while we got some sleep. Was Avalon's uh, chambers sufficient for my noble needs, or...? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Fuck! Right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get this straight. We need to decide this. Are Avalon and Theo getting a plus one morale bonus for the rest of the fight? Whoa! <laughs> I mean, Avalon, come on. A plus one morale bonus? I mean, what, what is that? To what, though, V? Morale I mean... bonus is to, like, everything. It's amazing. I mean, a plus one is a small amount, like his penis size. I mean, uh, one hell of a difference. Listen, listen, I've got, I've got, got, my, I've got my character sheet, right? I've got my character sheet. Theo, just like the very, very bravado type that he is, he rolled a D8, a natural eight, so listen, there's nothing to be shy about there. Okay. Nah, I don't, I, 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 would, I would say, I would say no, because... Uh, I, nothing's developed in story, and we'd only be doing it just to get a plus one. So yeah, I would say it doesn't make sense. I'm just joking around. Sorry. I'm you so I can get a plus one. We were nice to each other. That's about the extent of anything. Uh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Fucking god damn it! I didn't do this. <laughs> Sorry. Theo, Theo just assumes that every woman is nice and just wants to get with him. That's what it is. You chat. Mm. Don't worry, he'll catch a crazy one and then she won't let go. It will be hilarious. Alright, so Lucius, give me an engineering check. I'm gonna reload here real quick. Oh, problems are it. It's not good. Yeah. It is definitely not engineering. Okay. Come on. There we go. It is certainly possible for people to get through there. That is a structural weakness. However, you've heard rumors before that undead really have a problem crossing running water. They can get through. However, something in your head tells you that it's not likely to happen. Okay. Maybe something to check on if the Revenant comes around, because he could intelligently direct them. Possibly. Okay. 
I'll just make note of that and go back to my area. Does anyone have any last minute things they want to do? You guys have time to knock out what you want. Um, that battle, is that battle staying where it is? Remember, we were, this was where we were discussing? Yeah, I think the barrels were going to stay put. Yeah, because basically we've got a frontline bomb right here, and then we've got a backup for when they push farther in. Stagger detonations. Shaped charges before this began. I'm just being sure that we... Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah they're shaped. Actually, a question. Does uh, whatever we have as rest count as a full rest? This is eight hours? Yep. You guys had enough time for a full rest. We have? Do you want to say no? No, because I'm happy because that means seven more traps. <laughs> God damn <laughs> you guys, I love, I love, I love how, I love how Leon just played virtual chess with you, and now Eric's like, "Fuck, I hate, I regret saying that now." Because now fucking, now, <laughs> the, now the dwarfs get more fucking traps. He keeps putting them in the exact same spot anyway, so only the so, shit coming from that direction matters. So three over there, and three over there. So. <laughs> Actually, no, I'll make four over there in case there's anything from over there to slow them down. I've already have a wonderful minefield to my east. So... Are you going to put the, like, if Lucius is, is worried about the water, you could put them there, maybe? It gives us a wee bit extra time, I guess, if they if they hit their traps. Yeah, I was going to I was gonna come back and let you know that while it's highly unlikely that they'll come up out of that, uh, that river that flows inside their, our interior here, uh, it is feasible. So you might want to put one there just as kind of an alarm. I'll put two over there and one at the area where Morrigan did her thing, so we have advance notice there as well. But otherwise, four traps towards the south gate, because while it's unlikely that there will be much coming there, it might delay something. Because this place, as, as hilarious as it would be to just add seven more, it would be overkill. It's gonna be a while for any one can get through that minefield. Quick question. Um so I've got everyone's like icons, like their like user profile pictures. How do I get rid of that? Because I'm Williams. Go to the like... go to the cogwheel at the top right, mate. And mm -hmm. then scroll down and it will say player video Game avatar settings. size. It's got yeah. it's got in names only, so that it doesn't show like the uh, the icons. Right. Perfect. That's that's actually V's fault. Always blame V. Yourself. Doesn't matter what I said on that one. That's a personal. Uh, it's, it's, it's V's fault. Tony's fault. Also, if Morgan wants to enchant any of these traps, she can because those are freshly created. But that's her thing. Our in game. <laughs> right. Where's the swamp witch? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the swamp hag? Where swamp hag, wish. What for time is I'm born? She is sitting in her little secluded area doing her meditation thing. Well, fuck that. I'm not waking up a witch while she's meditating. That's retarded. Let her do her thing. There will be other times to make bomb, magical bomb traps. This thing up here, is this where we wanted Ilya Station, or was it? This yeah, one's on, right? The purple building? Yeah, that yeah the that's one that's, one that's, that's the highest one you said, so that's where we want her. Up there, and like, testing the tension on her bow and getting her ammunition ready. Alistair is trying to soothe the, uh, the weary hearts of the militia who don't look confident. The soldiers, however, are Rip roaring and ready to go. They're kind of bashing each other's shields with their swords. They look like they're about to have some fun. Ah, uh, not pussies. Excellent. Yeah, the guards are ready for this shit. The militia are a bunch of pussies. All right. Are you guys ready to do this, or do you want to do anything else? You have maybe a half an hour of time, possibly, before the attack. So you can't do a ridiculous amount of shit. Um, is, yes. So just on the 
thing I remember I gave um I gave Drastov I think it was three small health potions, was it? And I've I, I made it another four. And I've also got anti plague and anti venom, so do we want to dish them out? I'll drink anti-plague and anti-venom before we fight these motherfuckers. I'll gladly drink it. We've only got one of each, though. So be uh, smart about where they go. Yeah. So that's what I was going to say. Do we uh, want to dish these out before? Obviously. Do we do bonuses on rerolls, so keep them. I'll always keep them. Um, I'll maybe keep at least at least two minor healing potions so that I can get out of there at least. But if anybody else wants like one or... Is Amelon, is that where you're going to be stationed? Kind of my plan. I've got a lot of people that I can heal here. Do you? I take it you don't need potions or anything like that. Uh, I'm good for on my prepared list. I'm good for two. Yeah, so three second level heal. Or sorry, total five second level heals and two first level heals. So sure. if absolutely necessary, and I run out, I will definitely take one. That's fine. Just so you know they're there. Oh, oh, God. God. I would I would say I would say just you you have them now and then if somebody gets it then we can react to it. Because we might be in a situation where we might give it all to the front line, but then somebody at the yeah. back line gets affected. So yeah. worst comes to us, I, I, I can I can I can run up, take it off you, and then give it to somebody else. And, uh, D8 plus four. Please. Yeah, we have uh, four of those in total. Those are the well-made ones that we had. Yeah. yeah. Um, just to double check, because I can't remember. Are you have you guys had Lucius tagged as a runner, or do you want me backing up Drast of full time you're, here? You're as fast as as uh, Theo, so you're better off to serve with Morrigan and Theo as a runner. Okay. Um, in that case, I would say they don't have to be the good ones, but I probably need to be handed a couple of those because I can, if I'm a runner, then I can help render aid where needed. I can, give you, I can give you two. I'll keep two, if you want. We wanted Morgan right. tag with Theo. Yeah. Yeah. That's Morgan so I'll give you, I'll give you finishes two. her preparations and then walks towards the square and makes eye contact with Theo and just nods at you. This will be fun, I'm sure. It will be. Oh, uh, before I forget as well, uh, I will make sure to say it here. Since we have time, I'm going to spend 10 minutes uh, re-carving my emblazon on a short sword and then pulling out a short sword and a shield. Because from where, pull, using that short sword and shield, because from where I am, I can't really great sword people anyway. <laughs> Everyone is just kind of nervously standing around, knowing what's coming, but unsure of when. And as you, as you guys are just anxiously waiting for what's going on, all of a sudden from the east side and from the north side, bright flashes go off in the air and a really loud bang just keeps firing multiple times. Morgan's eyes light up. <clears throat> that must be that alarm. They are active. Is that what that is, Morgan? Sorry? Yes. Right, okay. Um... <laughs> There we go. Uh, everyone will obviously remember what Morgan said, so they're here. So, she disables the alarms once everyone's become aware. Guys from mm -hmm. the north and the east, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna shout up at Elia to tell me what she can see from the north. Uh, Morgan's warning was the, uh, when the alarms go off, it's gonna be about two minutes, probably before they arrive. So you might not see anything yet. That's fine. I'm just like we've got like four, we've got like what four people to the east. Um, I don't see them not seeing anyone, but we don't have anyone up to the north. So that's why I'm just telling how to look to the north at the moment, just to see so we know we, so we know what's coming. She rolled reasonably well in her perception, but it is quite a distance. She points towards the east, and. She looks at Theo, she closes her palm at you, and then opens it and closes it four times. Then she points to the north and does the same thing twice.
So she opens her palm and then closes it four times to the east and then opens her palm and closes it twice for the north. No, no, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to get, I'm making sure what V told me, I, I've heard them correctly. So she's done it four times for the east and then two times for the north. That's what you said, V? Correct. Okay. Um, I will quickly and run up to the eastern side and I will say to Av Avalon and Lucius, so you have four groups coming from the east and there's two groups coming from the north. And then I will go back there. Alright, let's do a skill check real quick before anything else happens. Oregon is doing something. Morgan is watching what's going on, and as she releases her alarm spells, her eyes go back to normal, and then they flash bright yellow again. She holds both of her palms out towards the ground and kneels down, and her hair starts swirling around. She rolls a skill check. As she gets up, she looks at Theo. They have a mage with them. Whereabouts do you know? Do you have to say it's any direction? Not yet. Cool. I will I will relay that back. I'll go back and say Avalon, Lucius, um, Nicola, Drastov, there is a mage in their ranks. Watch out. Hmm. Go back Arf, go back to Elia. Put your fucking crossbows at the mage if you can see him. Drop everything else, that bitch needs to die. I'll go back to Ilya and I'll say to I'll shout up to Ilya. If you gain sight on that mage, take him down. With pleasure. And I will go back to Morrigan and say thank you. Theo, roll a perception check. Yes. I get my character shot. Nope. Nah. Never mind. Which way is the mage coming from, though? Magic user, magic user, magic user, magic user. All right. The Battle of Redcliffe begins. Uh, Everyone throw initiative. What does you have, Evelyn? I was going to holler over towards uh, Morgan and ask which direction the mage was, if she knows they have one. She never, she never gave me one. That's why I never said anything. I already asked her. Yeah, she can't well, make that out yet. The enemy's still a distance no. away. So I, I understand that, but Avalyn doesn't know that. She was just told there was a mage, which is why she would ask. <laughs> oh. Well then, Avalyn, since you are looking towards Morrigan, uh, she's a distance away, so you're going to take a minus two. But you may throw a perception check. Okay. Morrigan's cool, collected self and her air of sophistication and haughtiness is gone. She looks terrified. Uh, those of you rolling per, uh, initiative in the future, remember to have your token selected before you do, and that auto adds you to the turn order. Otherwise, I can just manually add you, but it saves everyone a step. That Morgan doesn't look happy. All right, Evelyn, Lucius, dressed of the I mean, Nick. How do you no, I can use the role that you got. It's just if you have your token selected before you yeah. do it, it automatically populates. I forgot. That's um, fine. Add to since the turn I know, order. Oh. Uh, twenty-one. Go ahead. I was gonna say since I know how Morgan's feeling, I am gonna give her a glance. I'm I'm gonna try and pass along that we got this kind of like smile and confidence, even if I'm faking it a little bit myself. That's what she thinks. This is just a dread on her face. Just just say uh, just bite your bite your bottom lip. <laughs> bite my bottom lip. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Flick the bean a couple of times. 
Well, the thing about no, the thing about this way, right? She but she, she's going to be thinking about like, wait, Davin like me? Takes her mind off her. So you actually, you're actually doing something. Oh, Listen, there's a good work. Method paint the madness. Oh, militia are apparently motivated all of a sudden. They're over fifteen. Alistair. Alistair is only partially motivated. Ilya. Ilya doesn't seem to be paying attention. Gets an eye. Get the turn order sorted real quick before we move on. Theo, I imagine you have a higher dex than Alistair. Oh, yes. 13.1. Ilya, now the enemy. Not only am I better looking than Alistair, I'm more flexible than him. But he's still more attractive. Yep. Each that round. <laughs> no, but statistically he is, right? Okay, I think we got turn order sorted almost. Evelyn, what is your dexterity? Uh, my dexterity is plus one. You get the point one. Okay, everyone is in position. We are going through turn order as the enemy is on their way here. So, Avalon, you first up. Right. Well, from my position, there's not a lot I can do. I'm basically just twiddling my thumbs for the time being. Oh, actually, you know what I will do? I'm going to holler to, uh, I'm going to holler up to, um, Drostov if he wants me to, uh, if he wants me to, uh, shield him. Ah, oh, God, what's the spell called? Um, shield other. Yeah, shield other. Uh, not yet. Okay. Then otherwise I won't do anything because we're just waiting for the attack. <laughs> At this point, there is a, a perception check for everyone to make, but the DC is so low, I assume you all make it. Way off to the east in the direction that the enemy is most likely coming from, is huge clouds of dust. Clouds of dust, huh? Yep. There are a lot of things coming from that direction, and they are moving at enough speed that they are picking up dust. Are they running, like, Naruto anime style? Yes. <laughs> Which means they're all weeb skeletons, so they have minus... To charisma and constitution. Perfect. I mean, yeah, but they managed to pull up bullshit techniques. Don't get <laughs> Shh, Leon, don't tell him. This is a, this is our strength. He doesn't know anime. He doesn't like it. Yeah. Okay. You know what they say: the power of friendship beats everything. If, we are friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> if we're going on anime rules, we win. <laughs> yeah, point, but if you're going I, on I, anime I, rules, then that means instead of the archdemon, you're actually fighting God. Oh, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> because that means I get my ultimate sword. Yes. Fucking anime. I want, I want the armor of guts and berserk. I want the berserk armor. Challenge the terrain. <laughs> and and you're, you want the berserk armor and you're giving me shit about having a demon arm? <laughs> yes. Lesson. Right? Guts <laughs> is different. Guts is the exception. <laughs> Talk shit about uh, he's guts. A noble. Rules talk, for thee, not for me. Talk mm -hmm. shit about guts, and you will get smacked. Okay. Our two twenty eights are tied for definitely passing the extra DC check. There is also movement to the north that you guys are seeing. There is dust coming from that direction, but not as much. Theo, our net twenty, you now notice that Morrigan looks terrified. Okay. Put, I'm just going to put my hand on her shoulder and just be like, you've got this. She reacts unusually to you touching her. She kind of shies away from you. But she recognizes what you're doing and she just kind of 
timidly nods her head at you. All right, the enemy's turn. Dressed off, you hear the uh, mechanical, satisfying sound of your trips, of your uh, traps in the east starting to go ping, ping, ping as they snap and catch things. It is so satisfying. Do you want me to roll damage? Well, first I want you to uh, <clears throat> tell us, everyone, just how uncomfortable your, your armored groin feels right now. Oh, don't worry. I'm having so much fun right now. Like, everyone here is just, oh, no, we're going to die. Drass is like, fuck yes, I might die here. This is hilarious. Finally, <laughs> something entertainment. Sweet release. <laughs> one, of those, one of those metal pings wasn't the traps. That's what I'm going to say. I was going to say. Yep. Absolutely. That was his chubby. Uh, <laughs> like, at least 97% hard full chub. <laughs> so... Uh, start rolling a lot of damage. Uh, how many traps were triggered? All of them. <laughs> uh, so, well, that was, okay, all one, them. two, three, four, five, okay. Nearly three. all of them. Okay, There's still three that were unaffected. No, it looks like four didn't get hit. Uh, I mean, I can roll once per person, or I can just roll a lot of dice and make it just very Just roll number. one flat roll and hope you don't fuck it up. <laughs> I mean, you sure you don't want to see ATD6? I would like to move this game on at some point. There you go. I'm happy with that. That's slightly above average. It's not the best. It'll do. Yes. It's okay. Uh, all of the skeletons that are approaching the gate, as you can see, they are armed with shields and short swords. And it looks like they have the remains of maybe some old leather armor. All of them that got sprung in the traps are still on their feet, but are now completely immobile as they're trying to fight their way free of it. And now it's time to officially switch to combat music. Nicola, you see Drastov suddenly, his cheeks turn bright red, he's got a big grin on his face, and you heard all the poppings of the mechanical traps. Shit no. has started. The fact that she can see through my helmet is amazing. <laughs> she can see the steam coming off of you. That's how well, you know what time it is. It's time, it's time to reach spell and electric arc. Bye! So I'm going to uh, electric arc. Um, I can't remember. Is electric arc is two, isn't it? There's one of them. Yeah, two targets. Yeah. So I, I guess. Get anything really? I guess the first two. Just the the first two. Um. Did I not do that right? Did I do that right? Yeah. Seems fine yep. to me. And that damage? Those that are hit with the traps are unable to pass the save because their mobility is reduced. Shrit. So two of the skeletons that are trying to wrestle their way out of the bear traps get blasted with bolts of lightning that come out of Nicholas' fingers, and they just spasm and shudder and collapse. More power! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking Dalek or something? <laughs> I was trying to do the... Palpatine. Exterminate. <laughs> Exterminate. You going anywhere, Nicola? What's that? Are you going anywhere? Eh, no. I, I, that's that's my that's my moves done. I can't. All do right. Because of each spell. Lucius, the action has begun. Okay. Uh, I think we've made it. Oh. Nope. I'm here. We'll test this out here. Uh, what's my range? I think I'm within. Yeah. All right. Let's see which one do I have here? We'll go ahead and toss a bottle and just see what happens from there. You said these are skeletons, yeah? Not yes. 
Fighting Earth, that one in the front that's down my line. Then Alchemist Fire. That'll definitely do it. Weak sauce. So you will take a six. They are vulnerable to fire, so they're going to take added damage. Uh, I'm going to, because I get the choice since that's a throw, I'm going to allow the splash damage so I can get some collateral there. The one you hit directly is wreathed in flames, and as it shrieks with the mouth that has no tongue and therefore can't make any noise, it burns to cinders, and the other three that are around it are now on fire. They look noticeably upset at the fact that they're on fire, but they're still on their feet. Mm. I need to update this. I'm sorry. That's actually going to be three splash, not two. For what they're vulnerable like. to fire, so they take added damage. But that I'm raises sorry. a little bit. All right. Um, so I have to go through. Move through. I don't want to blow it all in one go, so I'm going to hold at this point. This way That'll be my turn. Be fucked anyway. There'll be more. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, this whole company is basically destroyed. There'll be like three more, so don't worry. That was my control subject, that's all. You good? Yeah, I'm done. All right, dressed up. Raise shield, ready to take down, move on. <laughs> the militia. They are going to maintain their position. They're not going to advance because that's what they were told to do. Theo. Um, I'm just holding my turn until Elia issues me some news uh, to react to somewhere. You're going to hold until Ilya directs you? Until Ilya or someone else directs me in regards to enemy breaking through or anything like that. Until I need to issue some orders. Okay. Alistair is going to try to raise the morale of his team and is going to do a diplomacy check. He rolls a nat 20. Look at that. Alistair turns around. Come on, man. We've gotten our asses kicked the last week. We have heroes here with us today. You are seeing them right there. Have already blown away the first ranks of the enemy. We fucking got this! And the militia look like they're starting to raise their spears and they're starting to cheer. Enemy movement. I'm just going to whisper to Morgan, like, you're really going to allow this militia to be more inspired than you? Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole! Well, he's right. Listen, I know, I know how you inspire Morgan. Sometimes being a dickhead is the best way to motivate people. Ilya. Ilya is going to prioritize recon over fighting, so she's going to do another perception check. Ooh, that was an excellent roll. Theo is watching Ilya. She is... Got her head on a swivel. She's uh, kind of up on the, the balls of her feet. She's constantly twisting around, looking everywhere. And Theo, you will notice as she's looking off to the north and northwest, she suddenly stops. And you can see her crane her neck a little bit. And she turns towards you and points at the rubble that was left at the northern gate mm -hmm. and is pointing at it repeatedly. Okay, I am going to... Signal me Morgan and say, come with me. Um, She's behind you. Oh, so, I don't have Morgan in the turn order. Do I? No, I don't. You can just act. Cool. You, you, you can have her just act on me if you want, because she, she's technically going to shadow me. If not, I understand, because you want her to have her own actions. She's going to have her own actions. So hold on. I got to roll her initiative. I forgot. I knew I missed somebody. Her initiative is. Oh, I did not mean that. Sorry. <laughs> I had to roll her after she had fucking. Oh, I deleted Theo. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm my own downfall. <sighs> I, I knew that was going to happen. Well, Theo's dead. Roll a new character. Bye. 
Hi. Hi, I'm Theo. Theo has a heart attack. <laughs> I'm Theo point two. I'm his older Theo brother. Theo has a heart attack and falls down. Even more of an asshole. Everyone loves me. <laughs> Theo just lays down on the ground and be like, meh, you guys got this. <laughs> Let my minions work. Wait, I was there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Scrolly, scrolly. Okay, so Ilya notified you. Theo Hall's ass. Morgan is behind you in the turn order. So now it is the soldier's turn. The guards, the ones standing at the chapel, are not going to take any actions unless you guys direct them to go somewhere else. They're standing there on standby as an emergency use. See this, see these guys here? Can I quickly just say something to them when I go past them? Sure. If I yell pineapple, come north. <laughs> the safe word is pineapple. Oh, excellent. <laughs> All right. It's they, a callback. <laughs> they, they salute you with their swords. I don't salute them. I just keep going. The guards at the front gates, they are flanking at the gate ready to move they are going to brace up and prepare for contact Evelyn all right well I am currently still a second line combatant with no range options so you should pick up the barrel and chuck it at the enemy <laughs> it would be awesome in fact oh god I would love to do that, but even then, I feel like that'd be a waste of our first barrel. <laughs> Things probably only get worse from here. Um, actually, I guess I could do that. Um, God, I'm you're going to throw the barrel? It. No, no, I was, I was going to. I had a thought, like, I could try and inspire people. And I'm like, wait, what am I doing? My, so, my social is zero and my dex is plus one. Yeah. Um, I do want to do a perception check, though, to see if I can see what the next forces that are coming might appear like through the uh, through the dust storm that they've kind of kicked up. That'll be a tough check, but go for it. I ain't got bad to do. Yeah. <laughs> nope. So, yeah, I have no real idea. Uh, I feel kind of bad about my lack of ranged options here. Um... <laughs> You know what? Uh, so if I can, I actually do like a diplomacy to give a morale bonus. Is that something I can do? That is not something you can do without the ability to do it. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Well, I guess I'm kind of about, <laughs> I guess I'm kind of out of stuff to do again. So that's my turn. <laughs> do you want to hold action? Uh. I don't even know what I would hold for because I don't know how much my stuff is helpful. Um, <laughs> you know what? Actually, I know I'm going to move up to directly behind Dristov. That way I'm in a better position if I need to actually deal damage with my heal. And uh, then I will be done. Okay. It's a wasted action, but I don't know what to do otherwise. <laughs> if you are desperate for a ranged option, the soldiers do have short bows. I'm not going to take a bow from the soldiers. Not That's in this fair. particular situation. I actually don't have ranged martial web martial range proficiencies either. Don't you have, oh. like, you got Disrupt Undead? Uh, I don't have Disrupt Undead. Short bows, I think, are a martial weapon, but, like, basic crossbows are common. Could have prepared it, you fool! I don't think it's a first or second level spell. It's a cantrip. Oh. Well, I can't change cantrips once I pick them, right? Yes, you can. Every day. I had no idea. <laughs> Congratulations, now you know. Welcome to yeah. cantrips in 2E, not 5E. Okay. Moving yes, on, then. The lesson is learned. <laughs> Moving on. It is the enemy's turn. Time to reveal some more stuff. The second company arrives at the Eastern Gate. Mm -hmm. 
Spaghetti holes. Theo, perception. <laughs> okay, mate, see when soon it's on your turn, can you make sure you meet your mic? Sorry, just to save the background noise, please. Sorry. How am I doing it? I'm pushed it. Don't need to say sorry, mate. Stop let it happen again, right? <laughs> Theo, there's a line of skeletons preparing to try to find their way through that northern gate. Is Morrigan not up next to me? Does she not get to it's move? It's not her turn. Not her turn. Her turn was before yours. Okay. Nicola. I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to try to hit the, 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 the two closest, the one that's closest to the wall. And the one behind that, I'm going to try and hit them with the electric arc. The three skeletons that were not affected by the traps move oh. forward and hit the last three traps that are now stuck. I'll hit the, the two closest then. Right. Okay, you zap two of them, they will both fail. Two more are destroyed. Nicola just keeps giving him the shocky stick. Yeah, buddy. And that's me. Lucius. These things seem to be going down pretty well. Uh, well, now the traps are all exhausted. Yeah. And there's a whole other company coming right up behind them. Those two that are uh, that got lit on fire with the splash damage are they still going forward? Oh, you're right. Those two will burn to death. Excellent. Okay. With that in mind, then this seems worth it. Uh, let me switch tools here. We'll step. Dressed off, you said you had your shield up, but I'm not going to advance past you because remember how badly you bitched that last time. <laughs> so we'll go here, or we're going to throw here at this target. Okay. And let me grab my sheet. It'll be the same again. Another alchemist fire. Holy shit. 11. Damn it, man. Well, that is a wild miss. So they will take only the splash damage. Lucius gets too excited, and as he's getting ready to throw, releases it just a little bit too early, and it goes sailing high into the air and falls and splatters on the ground in between them rather than hitting one directly. I wish Theo was there to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Ilya was. Don't worry about that. Anything else, Lucius? All right, Trasto, you watch the old man fumble his attack. Uh, maybe there's another <laughs> one else. Right, move, raise shield, twin take down this one dude over here because I got nothing else to do right now. I imagine he's fucked. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to predict bad karma. I'm going to miss them all. Just you watch. Where's my shield boss macro? I don't know. Oh well. Uh, there and. All the 24 hits. Excellent. Wonderful. Mm. Well, the damage is the same, it shouldn't be piercing, but it should be bludgeoning because this is the shield. I'm just trying to find where the shield boss macro went. This one is barely alive. Your pick digs into it and rips a couple of his rib bones out, but it doesn't collapse. Somebody else can finish the job, I'm sure. Morrigan is realizing that she's getting left behind and needs to haul ass. One turn, two, three. So Morrigan catches up to Theo. 
the militia are continuing to hold their line. Alistair is keeping them from fucking up. You missed my turn. Remember, I, I take myself a turn. No, that was 13.1, sorry. Because when I deleted my token, it deleted my turn as well. Sorry, did. Oh, yeah. You're, when your token disappeared, yeah. it took you off the turn order. Hold on. I mean, I'll totally, I'll totally roll again because I'll probably get a higher, uh, a higher number. <laughs> nope. I think that's only fair. <laughs> no. But yeah, you're right. When you, when your token disappeared, it pulled you out of the turn order. Okay. More enemy movements. Hold on. This is a very crowded set of tokens. Sorry, man, it's my bad. What's that? Oh, no, just deleting my token and then not being added to the turn order. I, I didn't realize that that had happened. No, it's fine. Um, it's easy enough to fix. So I am just going to... First of all, tell Morgan that there is a line um, of skeletons outside going from left to right. So if she has anything that can affect that way, that would be perfect. They're looking, they're looking for ways to to get over. This here, V, I don't know if you've meant this. Is that two tokens in one, or what's going on there? Because that looks like you've put two tokens in one over there. Right, okay. It was two tokens on top of each other. I deleted the other one. Oh, perfect. I just thought that guy had, like, four arms, and that was, like, a boss guy, and I was like... It was Whoa. Goro. Oh. It was... Goro skeleton. It was a uh, three six that guy in particular. <laughs> three sixteen, three sixteen no scopes. Right, so that means it is Theo's turn before we move on. So, I've told Morrigan that there is a crowd of them going from left to right, and in because I can see them, I assume I can pinpoint directly where they are, looking for a way in. I am then going to um, move up here uh, 30. So Elia has me in our sights. And then I'm going to shout at her to fire at will at these guys at the north here. She but, makes eye contact with you and nods her head. This here, v. Um Can this see over the wall or the power side wall here? These, this building that you're in front of and this one over here were both destroyed and oh, their remains were piled in front of the, the gate. Yeah. Right now, the, the skeletons are trying to like hurriedly pull the shit out of the way so they can get in. Um, and sorry, so if I'm there, I take it it's so high I can't attack. No, there's, there's literally nothing I can do. You want to climb over the rubble and stab him in the face? No, no, I don't want to climb over. I, I'm just, I'm just like visually for me in my head, the rubble is like packed and stacked so high, or to a point where there's really nothing I can do to attack anyone. Not yeah. from the ground. If you wanted to try to like scramble over it and just stick someone in the eye, you could do it with an athletics check, yeah. or an acrobatics check. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. That's just not. But a smart yeah, move. there's a risk that if you fuck up, you like fall into the rubble. Yeah, it's not a smart move. Um, I am just going to go here and yeah here and just... you're just going to start stabbing them as they try to clear the wreckage yeah and no. I'm going to firstly just for, uh, just in case anything anything randomly happens because I know you like to have Tom Fillory around I am going to make sure I am having my uh, dueling parry stance on at the moment, just in case anything is to happen, and that will be ah. that will be my actions. So my he AC just takes up a uh, defensive stance. But he he puts the weight on his back foot and kind of leans back with his weapon in front of him. Excellent. So oh, more, yeah. So more again, get that information correct that they're going from left to right, and I've pinpointed where they are. Yeah. She got that? Yeah, she's she Perfect. nods her head at you. Perfect. Ilya has been cleared to start firing, so she knocks some arrows and lets them loose.
Misses one, hits two. Both are still up, though. The soldiers are going to fuck this dude in particular, because there's now four on one. They're going to chew his ass up. The soldiers give off a cry. They're ready to go. War cry, weapons up, and they just start wailing on this skeleton and quickly bash it to pieces. The other soldiers are continuing to wait in case anything gets through. Right now, all the traps have fired. So, where's the clear drawings at? All the traps on that gate have been removed. Avalanche. 